Morning folks, it's Sunday, June the 19th, my wife's birthday and Father's Day. It's been 7 o'clock in the morning, we've just been out planting. Nothing's lurking good. See, my bird scarers are working. Yeah. What I've set out is the first to be broccoli. There's one, two, three, four, five, seven plants there. I have got another batch of seedlings that's just coming up. I need potting on soon. And I've started another row of Brussels. Yet again, one, two, three. There's six there. And I've also started another batch of seedlings to fill the rows up. I have covered these with nets because they are very small plants and it's got so much to plant out I'm just having to start putting it in a bit younger so good job I had these cloches wasn't it <laughs> see I do net brassicas <laughs> but the Swiss chard's really going for it now cow's a bit slow but it'll pick up I'll be harvesting leaves off this chard soon Well, I ain't found no caterpillars on my cabbages yet, so they're good. Look at that. Look at that mare's tail hiding under that leaf. And the bustles seem to be standing up okay. They'll probably want caning up when they start producing sprouts. And path number two. It's starting to grass up now. So all's good. So I'm going to leave these boards in for a year and then when the grass roots are established all the boards will be taken out make use of them somewhere else Have a quick look at my fruit bed while I'm here I'll show you this because it's all been weeded <laughs> See this is what I face, people chucking bread over that's going back. I don't know where it's come from. Gooseberry number one. Bushing out. Gooseberry number two, bushing out. I don't know if we're going to get any fruit this year, obviously. And gooseberry number three seems to be picking up a bit now, now what's been de weeded. Tomatoes doing fine. Got a truss there. And the truss has appeared on the second one. Oh, 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 blueberries, all coming there, look, so that's one blueberry, <laughs> got some more coming there on this one, and the other two seem to be doing fine, the raspberries look like they're going to start producing fruit soon. So that's just a quickie for this morning, folks, and uh, we'll now deal with this bread problem. Straight back over the fence. Bye. Oh, sorry, <laughs> I am not mean bye. I'll do a quick update tomorrow. Bye, folks. Morning, folks. It's Tuesday the 21st of June. I had every intention of coming down yesterday. But yet again, the rain defeated me. Whew. So we've done a bit more today. More planting out. Little herb beds starting to fill. That parsley looks really good. <coughs> I've set some sage that I've grown from seed. And some thyme that I've grown from seed. Now, my basil that I set got wiped out by slugs so it's looking like I've set some more seeds they've just germinated we'll see it might be too late now to get them in but we'll give them a go the broad beans that I planted was it last week gut fillers they're really coming up hey 
and I've got another batch of peas now ready to go in at the weekend. Start filling that row out. But the dwarf French beans, my rows growing. <laughs> Set another five plants. Uh, you probably notice I'm just filling one row at the moment. There is a reason for this. I've just purchased another variety and I want to compare the two. So I've got another 12 plants of each that's just germinated. These are Rondo and I've bought some Tender Green. So it would be interesting to compare the two. The pointer for next year. So the Tender Green will go in this, this row here. And I'll stick with Rondo on this row here. We'll fill these rows up. They will not be bare. <laughs> It seems to have helped now I've changed compost as well. I was using home-based multi-purpose, but I thought I'd try out Jack's Magic and I do seem to be getting a better germination rate. So I think next year we'll stick with that. What else have we done? Da -da -da. Sweet corn's out. As advised by everybody, get it out. So we have. That's all doing nicely. Not as good as Lens next door, but I'll put mine in later and I've just stuck the rest of my tomatoes in the ground I think might as well do that as I'm stuck on the patio table they're still small but I have set them deep and uh, it's to use that space up really I've still got this bit of space here I might stick some more dwarf french beans in there I'm obsessed with growing dwarf French beans. Uh, not a lot else has changed. I have been tidying up this bed this morning. But my onions are really starting to bulb out now. And I haven't, since we've had this rainy period, I've had no more bolting. So that's good. He says looking at them carefully now, just in case I miss one. <laughs> now they seem fine. Look at that one. Yeah, bring it on. The reds still look a bit. I don't know whether I'll grow red onions next year. We'll see. We'll see what these come out like. Carrots still coming up. We one and only row. Now I have set another tray of onion sets at home. They were kicking about in the shed. I thought, oh, sod it. Let's stick them in some soil and see what they do. So what I might do is stick that row of onions in there. I might just let them go to seed, actually, seed for next year. This area's been cleared because I've got my leeks to get in, which are now starting to pick up a bit. They were puny little sods. I wasn't going to plant them out. But no, we'll stick a couple of rows in, see how they go. If they fail, at least, you know, we've tried. Parsnips are really taking off now. I've only got the one row. I did chit some more seeds, but thinking about it, one row's enough for me. Beetroot's all doing well. That's the original beets that I put in. And these are the seeds that I threw in later. And a few turnips there. I've got another tray of turnips at home to set. And I've got another tray, well I've got my first tray of swede to set. I'm way behind with the swede. So I think the plan is, we've got some beetroot. I want to get two more rows of beetroot in here. Swede, next to me, parsnips. Might do two rows of those and then a couple of rows of leeks and that'll do for this bed. Once I've stuck them little late onions in. So yeah, the beds are actually filling quicker than I thought they would. I didn't think I'd fill them this year, but doing fine. I think I've probably already mentioned that uh, look at my path now. Path number two. I have got some more broccoli and Oh, bloody hell. Oh, cabbage. Broccoli and cabbage to get in here. I've set 
loads of lettuce off. So I might sneak a row of lettuce along this edge. The sunflowers, I've got to get in the ground. This wet weather, they look abysmal the other day. I thought I was going to lose the lot. I'm down to seven out of ten. The leaves just went brown and mushy. But I left them as they was and they started growing new growth at the top again now, so some flowers are going in there. I think they'll go in this week, maybe tomorrow. That'll be tomorrow's planting. Um, I know Michael Jake has made a comment, he's trying to get something planted every day, but that's what I'm doing now. I've just got so much to plant out. So, yeah, that's just a quickie. Quick shot of the runner beans, doing nicely. Oh, what I have got to show you. <laughs> the giant pumpkin's still alive. It's producing new growth. But it's not very big. It's getting loads. I put loads of goodness in the soil underneath it. We'll see, it'll pick up. <laughs> I even set little Nora, but she definitely looks sick. The Gary pumpkin's getting there slowly. Oh, one thing I've got to show you, just before I go, if I can get the lid off without getting it on my hands. Look at that. Metal tea for my brassicas. That's ready to use now. I think Terry's done his 10 to 1 mix. So I'll do the same. So I'm going to put this lid back on quickly, it bloody stinks. <laughs> So yes, I'm getting there. So thanks for watching and thanks for all the subscribers. Please like and subscribe if you do like. I see I'm getting a few thumbs down lately. I'm on the hit list. Never mind, I can live with that. So, I'm getting there folks. So it's goodbye from Newark and it's goodbye from me. Bye.